sure to the like button, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified on every new upload. What's going on, you guys? I got a video here basically showing you how if you're on a box where you can't pull the navigation uh, bar from the bottom or the side or anything at the top because you're basically on, e, on a, a modified version of a Nougat or whatever it may be, Marshmallow, and you're on an Android box, like this box here is running 7.1.2 and I know I think it's like a version or two behind but I don't have the uh, navigation bar at the bottom and I don't have notification center now I think with the notification center you could probably root the device and do exposed and get something to pop up but as it sits the only thing you can do is volume up and volume down that's as the extent as it goes however if you guys want, I'm going to show you three different programs. So there's one here at the top here. You can see me moving it around. There's this one, which you saw me pull up. And then there's this bar here. Okay, there's three different ones. The APKs will be on mediarepos.org slash APKs, a link below. However, I'm not going to go to the browser because I haven't added them yet. I'm going to do this video and show you. Okay. So we're going to start with the back button. Okay. This is uh, the, it's free. Um, this is this one here, okay? So you can kind of set it to how you want, okay? They have themes. You can kind of theme it. You can do the size of it. You can make it really big, really, really small, okay? Which is nice, okay? You have colors here. You have floating. Um, you can lock position. Uh, enable back button, okay. All right. And we're going to put that back there. And you can lock the position attached to the edge of the screen, okay. So you can do quite a bit of things with it. It's not nothing too crazy. Obviously, if you guys know, you have your, your multitask, your home button, and your back button, okay. So that is one of the APKs. Okay, it's called back button. I'll leave it labeled back button. Next, we're going to take a look at simple control. Now I'm gonna leave two versions to this. There's a modified version and the Play Store one. The modified one crashed for me. The Play Store one is working for me. Now all these navigation things will ask for permission, uh, two permissions. You need to allow them in order to use it. So this one here is this, okay? So you can customize it to bottom, uh, the position. So I don't know if you can see it, but there is, let me see if I can make it. Oops. There's a pink bar here, okay? You can probably see it now, all right? That I had really small. So if you don't want this one here, uh, this white one, which is the third one, you won't have that if you just install this. You'll have where you can pull up and it will go away, okay? So you have different settings here. You can do the left, right. You have settings here, so you have a, f oh yeah, this one has ads. You have the button, so you can pick what they do, back, home, which is really nice. You can disable it. You can long click it for volume, okay? To do other things. You have the options here. You can animate. You can auto hide, uh, out, outside touch hide. All that good stuff. You can do the size. You have a floating thing, so you can have it float right here. So it can be somewhere, you know, in the corner or whatever. Wherever you want to feel that you want this to be. Which is really nice. You can do background color. Okay. So you could even... You could even set it to that. You can make it so it barely even blends in, but you would know where it is. All right. You have the size of the little image here. Okay, you can hardly even see that now, so I'll put it to I'll put it to pink. So it's really small. Okay, you can see it in the corner there. Make it even smaller. All right, so it's pretty cool. Now the other one. So I'm gonna close out of these two. The other one is pretty simple. It's this. As you can see, these three here. It's uh, soft keys, okay? 
So you basically can make the size of it. So as you can see, they're matching right there. Okay. You have transparency, so you could have it so the black bar shows. Okay. You can make it really small. Now, the thing with this is you can customize this too. You can have it on the left. You can have it on the right. You can have it on the bottom. Have it on the top. Okay. These do not hinder whatever application you're in. Okay. It will not make the window cropped funny or anything like that. So if you go into STB, STB will load up fine. Okay. It won't overlap or anything like that or make the window small. It just stays there. This one doesn't auto hide. Okay. I'll even prove I'll click on a picture. Actually, I should have. What I should have done is let me let me um, let me change the transparency so you can see. So I'll go back to SDB, and as you can see, it just floats over top of everything, which is really nice. So. You could go into, again, Cody, whatever it may be, okay? So if you go in the Cody, again, it just sits over top of everything. So this is for you guys who don't have a navigation uh, bar at the bottom and you kind of want one. There's three different options. Again, I'll leave four links because the one is cracked. Uh, this one here is cracked plus the free version plus the other two are free. Uh, I can't find any mod versions and honestly, the one you have one ad that pops up oh so, again if it's you know you want something where you can close out of stuff and not have it sit in the background because these memory cleaners fucking suck all right they don't clean shit properly peace out if you guys have watched up to this point you can comment android rules irs drools I made it to the end of the video thank you for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe don't forget on the left is a video in may lake and on the right you can check out my last video again thank you for checking out the video it means a lot see you on my next one peace Bye.